<laughs> this video is about doing the bare minimum when it comes to learning DaVinci Resolve. If I could only teach you one or two things on each page that would help you take the most advantage of DaVinci Resolve, the things that would make the biggest difference for creating awesome videos. Well, this is what I teach you. First of all, if we have limited time and resources, I would skip the first two pages. Just start with the edit page. The edit page is where you put together your story in a timeline. And the very biggest concept that you need to know is that here in the timeline, this is where you put your clips together in the right order to tell a story. You can move a clip around just by moving it back and forth here in the timeline. And you can change how long you see the clip by grabbing the edges and moving them back and forth. And that's really the biggest thing. If you understand that, you can grab a piece of media from your media pool and just drag it into the timeline, move it back and forth, make it long or short, and you can put together your story just like that. You don't really need to know all the extra stuff to put together a basic story. Now, is it nice to understand more of this? Absolutely. But that's the bread and butter of the edit page. It's arranging clips on the timeline to actually build out your story. So that's what I've done here for this little animatic, kind of like half cartoon, half storyboard, half kind of children's story thing. <laughs> and I have my clips laid out here from left to right, and I have them in order, and I'm adjusting the timing just by changing how long they are on the timeline. A similar thing happens for the audio. I can zoom in here and look at the waveforms, and I can trim certain words out just by grabbing the edges of my clips. And I can change when you hear these clips just by dragging them back and forth. Mm, I'll give you one bonus tip here in the edit page. If you select a clip and then go up to the inspector, you'll see all of the properties for the clip. And one little switch here is called dynamic zoom. If you tick that on, look what happens. We have this nice kind of zoom out effect. You can click on dynamic zoom and adjust whether it's zooming in or out by hitting that swap button. And you can go over here to this little icon, click on it and go down to dynamic zoom. And this will let you adjust these two rectangles to change the start framing and the end framing of this dynamic zoom. So you can add a little bit of motion without much effort. That's something I used heavily on this project. Now let's head on over to the fusion page. I'm just gonna make sure we're over this cat shot here in the timeline and then click on the fusion page. That'll bring this up in fusion. And if I were only going to explain a couple things about the fusion page, it would be how to put an image over another image and how to mask an image. So here in the media pool, I can grab another image if I want to, maybe this cat blank.png, grab this and drag this in. And here I have two images, one with the cat blinking and one with the cat with its eyes open. And let's say I want to do kind of a rough blink animation where we just go to this image for a few frames and then go back to this. Well, I can take this one and put it on top of this one just by taking this media in node that was created when I dragged this in from the media pool. And I can take the output of it and drag that over the little white square, the little output here in our original image like this. And that's going to add a merge node. So that's going to put this blinking image over the regular cat image. And if I select this merge, I could adjust the blend even. And look at that. We have a blink animation. But these images aren't completely exactly the same. Look, when I change this blend, it actually kind of changes the entire image, which is not something I necessarily want. And so let's use this image, but just right here around his eyes. This is a great use for a mask in Fusion. All we got to do is grab this little icon here, which is a polygon, grab this and drag this in. We'll take the output and put that into the blue input of that media in two, like this. And then we can click and drag and make a little mask around his eyes like this. Boop. And when we close that mask, there we can see here on the left, what we're doing is we're making a mask mask. <laughs> it's like the tool's called a mask and what we're actually drawing is sort of a mask over his face. You, you get it. Yes. Yes. I don't get it. But we're just putting this foreground image over the cat's head right here around his eyes. And so when we turn this merge on and off, all it's doing is changing his eyes a little bit. And that is a great way to animate his face. We can even take this mask and push up the soft edge a little bit. And that's going to blend in those edges. See how we have this a lot softer now. That's going to do a really good job of giving us a little bit of animation here for his face. So for Fusion, you put something on top of something else with a merge. And you can kind of cut things out with a mask. In fact, that's how we did this effect where he blinks. Same kind of idea. By the way, if you're wondering what the heck this footage is, these are images that I generated on Artlist. If you don't know what Artlist is, it is a website where you can get stock video and media, can get stock music made by some of the best creators. That's where we get pretty much all of our music and all of our stock footage because it's it's the best. And everything in this timeline is from Artlist. And I think the result's pretty cool, so check it out. This is Penny, a sweet girl 
but a little overly attached to her dolly, if you ask me. Things have been a little bit tense between us since the, um, incident. Ah, Pumpkin. A standard dog, I'd say. Swift to exact justice on any stuffed victim. The doll is ruined, but it's probably for the best. What's this? She calling an air support. Oh. Now what? Doesn't seem reasonable at all. Oh, figures. So all of the music and sound effects are from Artlist. The voiceover is actually my voice, but transformed into a different voice. But all of these illustrations were generated on Artlist using their AI image generator, which now uses Nano Banana Pro, which is a fantastic AI model for creating images. It can make illustrations. It can make illustrations into realistic stuff. It can do stuff that's kind of Photoshop-y. For instance, we could put him into a new environment. We could change the camera angle and it keeps the characters consistent. I had it generate a turnaround of a character that it could work off of. Create a concept art turnaround character sheet for a little girl who loves her baby doll. And what's cool is you can use that image as a reference and so I said, draw this girl playing with her doll on the floor at grandma's house. And this is what it made. And then I used this image along with this image and it made just a perfect recreation of her at a different angle with a different expression. And this was a perfect starting point to put this image into Resolve. And I cut out the doll and did some fancy compositing to make it seem like it's falling through the clouds. We don't do a lot of sponsorships on this channel, but we use Artlist for so much stuff that it's just not that hard to make a video about it. So if you click the link in the description, you can save big on an Artlist subscription and make all kinds of cool things. Let's keep learning. Now let's switch over to the color page. The color page has a million jillion tools and they're all really awesome. And they can do some really powerful things to your images. But if you were gonna learn just one thing in the color page, I would suggest that you learn this panel right here, the primary color wheels. Just this little piece of the color page gives you so much control. You can take these color wheels and push color into the image just by clicking and dragging in a direction. You can grab these little sliders down here and make the image brighter or darker. You can grab these numbers and drag them to the left or right to change these values. So I can push more contrast and change the pivot of the contrast. I could push more saturation into the image. I could change the hue. I can do all kinds of crazy stuff just with this panel right here. And so if I want to color correct my whole movie and just add a little bit of sweetness to it, I could do something like maybe add a little bit of saturation, maybe just a little bit of contrast, put that pivot down. Maybe I'll add a little bit of warmth to it in the offset like that. And I can click on this rainbow sparkles button to see before and after, make this a little bigger so we can see here's before and here's after. It just adds a little bit of richness to this image. And down here in the thumbnails, I can hit control A to select all of them and then middle button mouse click. That's clicking down on the scroll wheel on the mouse right there on shot 15, where I already added this color grade and hit replace. And that's going to add this rich saturation to all of our shots. Now we have a really nice bright looking movie, maybe even a little bit too intense. <laughs> we can always play around with this a little more, keep it tasteful, do the same thing. Control A, middle button mouse click replace. And that's going to give us a little bit of flavor on this whole project. It's really easy to do in the color page. Next, let's go to the Fairlight page. Fairlight, if you don't know, is the audio workstation part of Resolve. This is where you can get super detailed with your audio. And the parts that I wanna show you are pretty much here on this mixer. This is a great place to adjust the volume of any track. And you also have a little section to equalize a track. So if you double click on this little cyan line, you can open up an EQ and change the volume of your sound based on its frequency. And so here I'm taking frequencies that are around 2K and dropping those down a little bit. This is a great way to change how an effect sounds or to bring a little bit more clarity to your mix. The other big thing I would show you is the dynamics panel. You can double click on this kind of greenish yellow line. And this puts what we call a compressor on your sound. Basically what it does, I'll just open up this one for our dialogue and play it back. Basically what it does is when a sound is loud, it turns it down a little bit. And when it's quiet, it pushes it up a little bit. This is a great thing to put on your dialogue to make it sound nice and punchy and easy to hear over things like music and sound effects. And so, yeah, if I could only teach you a couple things in each page, it would be how to move and trim clips in the edit page how to put one image over another here in Fusion, the basics of the primary controls in the color page, 
and how to copy grades in between nodes by clicking down on that scroll wheel and adjusting the volume of your tracks with the mixer, shaping the sound with the EQ and playing with how loud or quiet the different parts of your dialogue are with the dynamics. If you're unfamiliar with any of that stuff, I mean, that is the bare minimum. Throw some media into Resolve and start playing around, start practicing. Practice moving clips around, practice trimming them and making stories. Practice cutting things out in Fusion and putting images together. Practice doing a little bit of basic color grading and adjusting the volume and the dynamics and the EQ of your audio. All this stuff is like the bread and butter of making videos. And you can get pretty much everything you need to practice this stuff with Artlist. So if you want to get a smoking deal on that, there is a link in the description. I'll also put a link right there. If you've spent some time in Resolve, what is the minimum thing that you would teach somebody? What's the bread and butter for you for each page? Put that down in the comments and we can share the knowledge together. All right. Thanks for hanging with me. I appreciate that. I'll see you later.